I'm going to show you how to set up the Smart Automations 3CX SIP trunk from scratch in case you don't want to use the quick setup using the uh, downloadable XML file above. So similar to the other setup, you're going to need to have your IP address here, uh, which you want to just copy it. You're going to need that in a second for the uh, setup. So you're going to go to SIP trunks. This time you're going to go to add SIP trunk right here in country. You're actually going to select generic, then generic SIP trunk, and then you're going to put your main phone number. For this example, I'll use a generic one. You're going to hit OK. And this has nothing set. So first, let's give it a name. Then we're going to put in the gateway IP, which is for this case, first mod automation systems is going to be lcr.sas2.co. You're going to leave this checked, leave this blank, and the number of simultaneous calls is going to depend on your 3CX license. For the example, we'll put a 16 concurrent call license. You're going to leave this as do not require IP base because if you've already set up your account with Smart Automation Systems, they're going to have your IP address and will be accepting all SIP traffic from your PBX system. And then here you can configure routing calls or you can just do that later. Here you're also going to set uh, DIDs. You'll see since I've already assigned one, it's already added in here. I may want to also add that as the default caller ID. Then in options, you don't really have to change anything in the options, but uh, we would recommend that you uncheck the uh, disallow video calls, change the pre-register timeout to 120, and the transport protocol to UDP. For codex, uh, all of our switches support the newer, more efficient G729, so we're going to move that up. Not like it's necessary, but you could also add the G722 after that one, and just like that. Not required, but recommended. You can leave everything as is in the inbound parameters, but you are going to have to make a change in the outbound parameters. And that's right here where you see from host part. So you're going to change this to a custom IP range and you're going to enter the IP address of your PBX that you took from the earlier dashboard page and that's it. Hit OK and you're going to see as indicated by the green dot that the uh, SIP trunk is already registered to our switches and once you set up uh, outbound rules you'll be ready to make some phone calls. Thanks for watching.